Hey y'all, Richard Metal Fun, huh? I'm bringing you guys an old school album review, and today we're gonna be looking into this album's 20th anniversary, and it's from one of my favorite bands, and it's one of the best bands in the whole like Swedish melodic death metal movement. And as you can see below the title, today we're gonna be talking about Wages of Sin by Arch Enemy, the band's fourth album released on April 25th, 2001, through Century Media Records. Now, with their first three albums uh, being uh, Stigmata, Burning Bridges, and uh, Black Earth, I feel like, in my opinion, those are like god-tier uh, melodic death metal. And they had, at that time, they had their original vocalist, uh, Johan Liva. The, um, but then it was around after, uh, after uh, Burning Bridges, they... Uh, Johan had left the band or something, and then they had gotten uh, Angela Gasso. So, who and, and for me, this I feel like this kind of like solidifies the classic Arch Enemy lineup, so to speak, consisting of Angela Gasso on vocals, both the Amat brothers, Michael and Christopher, on guitar, which I think they're both great. Of course, Christopher is now playing with Dark Tranquility. Of course, one of my favorite, another one of my favorite metal drummers, Daniel Erl Erlinson. Sin, who I believe is the older brother of Adrian, might be younger, I can't remember. And of course, Charlie D'Angelo, who used to, who also played bass for Merciful Fate. And that, I feel like, solidified the classic era Arch Enemy lineup. Um, yeah, without further ado, let's just dive into this album track by track. Now, starting things off is Enemy Within, which starts off with a little bit of a piano intro. And then about, about some 25 seconds in, there's like a little weird noise and then it gets louder and louder and then just it just goes into like an onslaught of metal oh and it has some really nice drum work and some really great guitar work here and around a minute and a half in angel comes in which i remember when i first heard of arch enemy me back in like 2007 or so i had no idea it was a girl doing vocals until i watched her videos and i was really impressed and i feel like angela really just fits the mold that she has like great vocals for death metal and then it has like a, some really great guitar work throughout with a pretty solid solo around three minutes in and then there's a, the main riff which then fades out into the next song being burning angel jolt which has no piano intro there it's just straight into head banging and the intro is kind of reminds me a little bit of like a hangar 18 by megadeth a bit well it that's just from what I've gathered. And then there's a lead kicking in about 12 seconds in and just continues until Angela comes in. And then the song changes a little bit at around like a minute and 12. But then it changes in tempo and then it goes back into the opening. And this is the stand. Well, for me, the standout of this track is definitely the solo at the end, which is around like over two and a half minutes in. And then almost four minutes in, and a great barrage of like sweet picking comes in. It's a great track and one of my favorites. Moving on to Heart of Darkness. Now this song is a great song here. It starts off with a little bit of a slow riff when compared to Burning Angel, but it's still great. And then it changes about 30 seconds in and Angela's voice just kicks in. And it really hits me when I first heard her growl like Heart of Darkness. And then there's a little small interlude which goes in about three minutes in with a great lead coming in and it completely changes and it sounds really cool. And it's slower, but still cool. Um, Ravenous. Venice. I absolutely love this song. It starts off with some pretty solid drumming and a cool little lead, and then the rest just pounds in, and the main riff is introduced. And Angela just really impressed me with this track. And there are also some really great guitar work around like a minute in, and the chorus just kicks in a few seconds later. And there is a small change of pace within the interlude that comes in, in about two and a half minutes into the song, which then leads into some crazy soloing and just an overall great track. Then we get to Savage Messiah. Now the intro sounds pretty cool here. It runs for about a minute, and then, uh, and then a little bit after that, a brutal riff comes in, and I just don't know. I just love that riff so much. And the first time I heard it in my head, it just makes me bang my head. And then Angela uses some really cool, like weird effects to her voice at some points in the song. And the chorus comes in about two minutes in, and it goes back into that intro almost a minute later, and then it leaves you just wanting more in that riff riff and just wanting you more it's just a overall another great song uh dead bury the dare dead i probably butchered that let me start over dead bury their dead which opens with just a basic rhythm and just gets bigger and faster as it progresses and just some complete chaos at around 44 seconds in and then there's some sick double bass drumming that comes in about a minute in and just small solo well, a few seconds later 
there I know another great riff. I keep talking about the riffs. The riffs are just fucking amazing. It just makes you just bang your head spontaneously. And then a solo coming in at two minutes in, which spans for about a minute or so. And then the bass comes in around less than a minute minute in and then back to the main riff and the outro is the really awesome riff and then it to the next song which is web of lies which the drumming at the beginning just goes straight into some rhythm and vocals and it starts to pick up pace with a cool part around 35 seconds in at around 57 seconds you get a little change of pace and it sounds a little bit uplifting ding and for some reason this song doesn't stick to me as well but it's still good however uh, the first Deadly Sin, which has a really nice heavy opening, and then you get just a blistering speed on those guitars at around 23 seconds. And this is definitely one of the fastest parts I've heard when compared to the last few songs on here. And then you are greeted with a really cool rhythm part. part and I really love there's like a little solo with some little bit of harmonization from the Amat brothers. It's a little bit of a... Then there's a solo riff that coming in around 3 minutes 10, and it's a cool transition back to the, just the insane blistering song overall very fast and brutal and just a fucking great death metal song um behind the smile now this song doesn't quite sound like arch enemy here especially during the intro and then the chorus comes in pretty shortly and there's some couple transitioning points when it comes into about two minutes in awesome little harmonizing especially two at the two minute mark and it just sounds really cool uh snowbound it just is a little bit of a nice change of pace here. It's a really emotional feeling solo to it, and I like it a lot. And there's just not a whole lot to say about this song. It's just a little instrumental, which leads into the final song on the album being Shadows and Dust, which is a cool little track here. It has a really nice intro, and the vocals come in around 45 seconds in, and the song loses pace a little bit, but it still sounds awesome. And the lead piece comes in around a minute and a half, which is pretty good up until about two minutes and 41 seconds when a pretty cool solo comes in and then it fades out and just ends the album now overall wages of sin by arch enemy is a pretty good album um it's a really good introduction to angela angela bleh, angela into the band because usually when bands change vocalists like almost half the time it works and half the time it doesn't but in this case it really just show it really works well and it really just showcases like the next chapter for arch enemy so if I have to give this album a score, I'm going to give Wages of Sin by Arch Enemy an 8 out of 10. So yeah, that's my review of the album, guys. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about the album, and I'll see you all in the next video. And as always, keep it metal. Take care.